People often say Parisians are rude. I decided to prove them wrong. I'm Julian, and this is my show. Hey, Tatiana, how are you? Hi, Julian, good. You decided to beat me here on this amazing rooftop with the Empire State Building right here. This is yes. a fantastic view, right? Amazing. You live in New York, right? Yes, I do for okay. now. Okay, how, how long have you been living here for? Uh, altogether, I think around eight years. Eight years? A long time. Do you still love it? I love it every time I'm back from somewhere. If I travel and I come back, um, it's like coming back home. Tell me, what do you do? What, what is your job? Um, I think my main thing is modeling. This is my career. This is what I try to concentrate on. How long have you been uh, modeling um, for? A long time. I would say professionally with an agency for around four years. That's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. It's just traveling and meeting new people, seeing new places, uh, learning new languages. What is the, uh, your favorite location so far, besides New York, of course? Mexico City. Mexico Federal City. District, yes. Um, the first time I visited, I fell in love right away. I came back there two times and I'm going again back there third right. time. What is it that you like so much about Mexico? There's so many different things, uh, I cannot even count, oh my god. The main thing is the feeling that I get, that the city gives me. It's the people, it's the simplicity of the city. It's like New York, but it's a hundred times better, that's what I, I usually say. It's a hundred times better for <laughs> um, you, yeah? Uh, it's... Um, where did we stop? What were we talking about? What do you think about the people who say, oh, you know, model, they're dumb, and you know, whatever. Do you think it's a cliche? I I'm trying to prove that it's not the case. You study Spanish? That's I cool. studied Spanish in the linguistic university in my country, in Belarus, for a year, and then I lived in Spain for one month. Here in New York, I took some classes here and there when I have free time, and of course, Mexico helped me with they that film as it. well. They film them, uh, sure. That's the scariest thing for me when I was starting modeling. I was so scared that I would get into it, and I would not, that it would be the only thing that I would dedicate myself to, and then there will be a point of time when I would not know what else to do, what's next. How hard it is on a daily basis to do that job? It is really hard. It is hard psychologically and emotionally because you get a lot of denial and you're constantly reminded, reminded that you're not perfect and it's, uh, you have to keep proving otherwise and you want to cater to everyone, to every client, you want to always be perfect. The main thing is not to take things personally and to understand that um, there are times when you will be succeeding, there are times when you'll be down, it's um, ups and downs constantly. And to deal with this, you have to be really strong. Uh, have you met okay. some girls who were younger than you yes. and you just see uh -huh. them falling apart because of that job? I think I would have made more mistakes at that age. And then when you're older, you understand what is right for you and what is not. And parts of you are everywhere here and then you left something there of you and then you left another part of you in another country and you miss those people and then you meet new people and then you leave and some people become your family but then you have to meet them again. This is the hardest part. Some mistakes might not actually be mistakes. Right. <laughs> they might be the experience that you learn from. But at the same time you have to enjoy life. You have to live in the moment and uh, those experiences they will stay with you forever and then um, it's good that you have something to remember, something to share. What's coming up next for you? Like what is the big next move? I think it's still a mystery. There's constantly new things coming up. There's You never know in this business what's next for you. Um, you just take day by day. But nothing you can really talk about? Nothing specific? Nothing specific, I don't think so. I mean, no. Are you, you, are never... you hiding something? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a surprise. All right, well, thank you so much. I'm, uh, you will definitely give everybody like information about you. I don't know, do you have a website? Do you have something to plug it right now? Uh, there's pictures and on models.com. There's a portfolio. Okay, so. well, thank you so much, Tatiana. No problem, thank you. All right, see you next time.